Today, we're going to talk about an LED tester. It's made to test one LED or multiple LEDs. And in, for example, an LED strip. Typically, people get this to test the backlights of a TV. So the LED TVs have LED strips in the back for backlighting. And so typically, this is used to test that. So let's dig into it and see what it can do. So if you look at this LED tester, it has a display that shows the voltage. But this particular one has something that I really kind of like. And I really didn't think this would become very useful, this, but I figured I'd get it anyway. Um, it has a 1 milliamp setting, and I'll tell you what you can use that for in a minute. And then it has a 30 milliamp setting. So typically, LEDs have a 30 milliamp drive current. So what this does is it always limits the current. And the voltage can get up to about 300 volts if the strip can take it. So what will happen is it will give it 30 milliamps and that's all it will ever give it. So if you put an LED strip that has a certain voltage, that's all the voltage it's going to deliver because that's all that the voltage it's going to take. It's only going to give 30 milliamps, no more than that. And that's what the typical LED rating is. But... Uh, so let me get started with kind of sh showing you on the LED setting here. And we'll look at it a little further away so you can see actually me testing the LED strips. So I'm going to start with this LED tester by turning it on. And you'll see that the uh, voltage starts climbing. So yes, what you're looking there is it's 323 volts. If I touch these two, I'll get a little bit of a zap, but it's only a 30 milliamps. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to test my luck on it. Again, it's 324 volts across it right now, but it's only at 30 milliamps, so it won't do anything in the LEDs, and you'll see what will happen. This particular LED strip that I have here is from a regular LED light bulb, and it was in my kitchen, a regular light bulb, and this is what's inside of it. So it's basically an LED array. If you look at these LEDs, these should all light up. It's an array of, um, well, in this case, it's... Uh, seven LEDs. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook up this tester to it, see if it lights. And that the reason why I removed it from my kitchen is th it, it slowly, the brightness slowly went down on it. So I just figured maybe there's wear and tear of the LEDs. Didn't stop working. So let's, let's give this a shot, see how it works and uh, what happens. So when I hook up the probes now, you'll see it lights up. What I'll have to do is turn down the um, the brightness on this, but when we do this, you'll notice that one of the LEDs is out. This one. This LED is out. All right, here's what it looks like with the brightness all the way down. Okay, so I'm going to connect it one more time. It's going to be really bright, so you really won't be able to see it, but if you look at the voltage on the meter, that's what I want you to look at. It's 33.2 volts. So this LED, that's what the, it's taken, 33.2 volts at 30 milliamps. So it delivers that kind of light, which is really interesting. Now we're gonna try a single LED and see what that looks like. Here's a single LED at 30 milliamps. And this might be hard to see here, but Actually, probably will be easier to see because what I'm going to do is I'm going to light it up. So in this case, I actually looks like I'm hooking it up in the wrong, the wrong side. So it's saying it's bringing it down to 12 volts. So looks like the positive is here. So now when we do this, this is 1.8 volts. If you look at that meter, it's 1.8 volts. So that's providing 30 milliamps of this little red LED, which you can barely see. And that's 1.8 volts it runs on. So you can test one LED or multiple LEDs. And so that's what happens. So in this case where the LED went out, it probably be a higher voltage, but it went out. So it probably short it. So it would be more than 30 some volts. And basically, that's the way the circuit inside the light bulb works. If any of the LED short, it only still supplies 30 milliamps. So it's a constant current power supply. And that's what this is. But here's the interesting setting on this particular unit. 
I'll switch this off and I'll switch it to one milliamp. And what you would use this for is you, it wouldn't be able to light an LED. So if I'd hook it up, the LED won't light because one milliamp just it, it it's not enough to light an LED. But what it works really good on is to test Zener diodes. So there's two Zener diodes on this board, right here and right here. We're going to test the Zener diodes. And really you could test any diode, but it would be pointless because you can use it just a regular multimeter for that. But this is really nice with for the Zener diode because the Zener diode, multimeters might only go up to one, you know, 1.5 or maybe even 1.8 or 2 or 3 volts. This will actually test it. And it'll it'll actually show the breakdown voltage, the reverse breakdown voltage, is which is what a Zener diode is all about. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna get the probes here, and I'm going to test it. So here's the Zener diodes. I'll test it. This is an old circuit, so I'm not worried about uh, testing it in circuit. Plus, it's going to regulate it anyway. So I'm getting 0.5 volts. That's because that's the forward current of the diode. So that would be normal for a diode. So a regular diode, when you go reverse like that, you would get, it shouldn't conduct anything. But if we do it in this particular diode, it's 4.1 volts. So we're going to test this other Zener diode. And when I connect it, it's also 4.1 volts. So it's only putting one milliamp on it. So it's really important to have it switched to one milliamp. So that's putting one milliamp of current through it. And so that's the voltage of that Zener diode. Now it's in circuit, so it might vary a little bit. Maybe it could, could be 4.4 or something like that. However, it, it gives you a general idea. Now, if it was out of circuit, it would give you a very accurate reading. So I really like this unit because it tests both LED strips as well as single LED and even Zener diodes on the one milliamp range. It's a really cool little gadget, and um, it was relatively inexpensive, and uh, it's definitely a tool that I'm going to use. And I th just thought I would share the uh, how it works and, and, and some of the, the items on that. So thanks for watching. If you've learned something and you really like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.